Hi, I'm Will Patterson, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the Offset Paths tool, the new feature inside of Actinator, to design an amazing, intricate logo. Let's get straight into it. The first thing we want to do is create a square with just a stroke around it. You can see here I've created the square. Then we're going to go ahead and select the two nodes at the bottom with the direct selection tool or the node tool. Go up into the style menu, the top right. And with those two nodes selected at the bottom of the square, we're going to go ahead and change the corner radius. This will round the corners perfectly for us. I'm going to take the top two nodes and push them up. This will give us more space. Now make sure the shape is only a stroke. And you can see here at the bottom left, we've got that red line through the fill value that means that there is just no fill and that there's just a black stroke make sure you've got a decent weight on this stroke as well the next thing we're going to do is with the whole shape selected we're going to go to the path function at the top right we're going to go down to the very bottom and there's a new feature called offset path what this will allow us to do if we select it is it will allow us to offset the exact path basically creating a copy but keeping the proportions the same and changing them slightly in a scalable fashion and we're going to offset this twice so it comes up with this sort of you know mirror effect going on all the way down we want enough negative space within the logo design in between the lines so that we can make some alterations to make this logo even more unique the next thing we're going to do is go up to the scissors tool the cut tool and we're going to select the outer stroke um, from this node we're going to cut from this node we're going to cut too we're going to go back to the selection tool and erase that part we're going to repeat the same thing twice again for both of the other shapes now what we want to do is using the pen tool we're going to go ahead and extend some of these lines and join them together so use the pen tool extend the line and create this right angle on the approach on the way down we're then going to just fiddle around with this node to make sure it's perfectly aligned select both nodes off the shape with the direct selection tool then use the main selection tool go up to path and join the path together this will attach those two nodes together we're going to repeat this again for the next line attaching it to the bottom one over here you can zoom in and zoom out to make it easier for yourself but try and get those lines perfectly straight at right angles by using the node selection tool now what we want to do is just extend this line here and we can play around with this and do whatever we need to do but this is a really simple way of creating a, an effective logo design this could be for a thumb scanner so a fingerprint scanner it could just be an icon for security what i'm going to do is select the node in the middle where that right angle is and we're just going to use the cut tool again to get rid of it so it just looks a bit nicer and there we go we have our logo design we can change the color and copy it over very easily we're going to copy it because we don't want to lose the values of the strokes i always like to copy my work before i do some destructive editing we're then going to highlight it and we're going to go over to path and we're going to outline the stroke and this will create it so it's now a normal shape so when you scale it up and down the stroke width won't affect the shape i hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it useful if you'd like to see more useful videos make sure to press the red subscribe button down below and i'll see you in the next one goodbye